and you have to ask yourself what kind of bozo actually decides to internally thread left hand inside of a collet? Well, that was the question. The answer is this bozo. Hey everybody, welcome back to Making Something From Nothing. This is Richard. And what I got here is a DC motor out of a treadmill for a customer and he wants to adapt this to a bandsaw, you know, which is fine. Uh, he's got variable speed on the bandsaw after that, and life is good. The problem is... So this is the test bushing I made out of aluminum. And as you can see, we have virtually no run out. I didn't put an indicator on it or anything like that but that's pretty tight. So what the customer did was he brought me back over another pulley. fits in there real nice Well, the finish on the hole looks really good, so let's find out how big it is. But I think we're good to go on the position of the tool. So let me go ahead and uh, change the gearing on this thing and we'll set up to uh, finally cut some threads. good but that doesn't tell me nothing it's only one test that's going to tell me something and now I kind of regret using the collet but because before I was taking the chuck off the lathe 
and testing it on the motor. But if I do that with the collet, I'm never going to get it back in the same place. So, note to self, this was a bad idea. because this is not the right pulley uh, for this particular shaft. The threads on the shaft only come out to here. So this set screw that's on this pulley, it basically does nothing. So I told the customer, I'm going to machine off this boss right here. We're basically going to machine all this off right up to here. So this way the entire pulley sitting on threads and we don't have this boss throwing this pulley off balance. So I'm going to take that over to the lathe and we're going to machine that off and this job's done. I'm going to go ahead and deburr uh, this side here. I forgot to do it while I had it in the lathe like a dummy. So I'm just going to do it by hand. So now there's nothing else I can do until the customer comes over and puts the motor back together. Pound in a uh, 316 roll pin. And he's good to go.